No, oh, there he goes. He thought twice. And there he goes too. And then taking up. These guys are going to draw straws and see if he wants to come out here and deal with this. Oh, interesting. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> so they're not picking up. We've got another chance to meet Mr. Villanueva. Trying to get my vandalism into the park is to be there. Yeah, I'm back in a second. Oh, nice. This is a public event. Your voice will be heard. Is that charity money or what? We've been looking forward to meeting Mr. Alex Villanueva. Yeah, yeah. Jupiter Park. Questions See, they're not picking up. This is how they stonewall me. I came in to pay for it and they wouldn't give it to me. All of a sudden they're wrecking you? So I came in I came in to get my vandalism report. And uh, this is the second time. First time they said they uh, wouldn't give it to me. I had to talk to the detective. Came in for my vandalism report. Uh, the name? You needed to get a copy of the report? Yeah, I want a copy of it, right. Do you I have the file number no, or the report no, number? No, I'm sorry, I don't. But I just called about it ring 20 times. Nobody's picking up. Okay. And first name is Philip? No, I don't. But uh, I talked to Commander uh, Walcott. He told me uh, that uh, when I come in, I shouldn't feel threatened because every time I come in here, I've been uh, feeling uh, intimidated by Berman. I shouldn't feel that way. By who, sir? Isn't it uh, Watch Commander Berman that you have? You, don't you have an Officer Berman here? Not a Berman, no. What do you have that's close to that? Name? Nothing that, that doesn't ring a bell. Berman, no. Oh. Berman? No, was it? No, no, no. Well, anyways, he told me to feel free okay. to come in to record. He said he was going to call the station, that I shouldn't feel intimidated, I shouldn't feel threatened, I shouldn't feel anything. Okay. Okay. So that's not happening right now, right? Not right now. That? No, I'm just expressing what he expressed to me. Okay. Now you guys tend to, you know, behave yourselves in front of a bunch of cameras, so that's why we're here to make sure that he gets what he needs today. So they did. The, they did the investigation, and when you guys uh, locked me up, and they found that uh, shouldn't have been done. Okay. So you just need the report. That's I all do. you need. I want the vandalism report. Yeah. I came in to pay. For, I came in last time to pay for it. I talked to Officer Hoy. You were here. He said he was going to talk to his supervisor before he uh, released it to me. You, you heard him interview me at the desk. Yeah, I was here. And uh, he said he'd call me. That was I don't know what three weeks ago. I've never heard from him. I've never heard from him. So all we need is just to copy the report. Can we get a FOIA request uh, calls me to the station that day as well? I could see. Let me look into that. So I don't know. He told me that pertaining to the situation that he was arrested for. I know you've already, didn't I give you the documentation to request all of yeah, those yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got Is that I, in process? Uh, yeah, I've got, I'm uh, working Is on that it. the same thing, Mr. Yeah. Gonzalez, you're asking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all I wanted was to follow up and get the copy of it. Okay, let me work on that for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Down. All the way down. But thanks for letting us know you did your homework. This was the uh, jailer that. Uh, Handled me when the detective walked in. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cut this, bro. Let's see. How you doing? How are you doing? Good, good. What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name and badge number? Uh, it's uh, Deputy Schlogel. Badge number is 478, uh, 475 140. Thank you, sir. Hey, you guys uh, know who I am, right? Can you? <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I'll hang here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, let this run. I'm just yeah, going to go get my, t tell him not to steal my SD card, dude. All right. Okay. Mr. He went to get his wallet. Okay. So he can pay you the money for you guys uh, jailing him and stealing his memory card. Okay. Because that's what you guys are good for, right? You should cover that before you punch that code in, boy. It's going to be on the internet. Okay. Remember, Jose Gonzalez, bitch. Down. Coward. Yeah, think twice. These guys are cowards, bro. Yep. <laughs> They're scared in their own station. I 
him camming while he's camming. He parked down the street because he didn't want you guys to harass him and, and vandalize his car again. Okay. So he'll be here shortly. So why don't you guys like uh, being filmed? Why don't you like transparency? I don't have a problem with it. No? No. Then why are your deputy, why did he get under placed under arrest for telling a, a cop to fuck off or whatever he told him? I wasn't there, so I don't know the, the details on, as to what happened. Do you, guys, do you guys use your feelings as part of a reason to put somebody under arrest? No. Then why is there so many butthurt um, deputies out there that will put hands on you and place you under arrest for, for exchanging words, you know? No, I heard what you're saying. I, I can't speak for that. I know that doesn't occur here. Um, so, I mean, each to his own. I know that here at this station, we're, uh, we're very professional, and despite what you might have different, there's always different sides to the story. So, yeah. I can only speak for what I was there and present for. This, obviously, I wasn't, so. Right. Yeah, I mean, he has respect for you. You know, he said you were good with him back there. So, you know, mad respect for you for that. But, you know, we get placed under arrest and pushed around and harassed. And You had and something happen in Santa Ana recently. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I was watching the video. Yeah, at the, at the PD. They wanted to put me under arrest for what? You know? Yeah, I don't know. So, that? I mean, that's how it is, you know, and, and, and for what? Just to keep you transparent or to, to observe the department, you know, taxpayers' money goes into all these buildings and then... We're, we're pushed out and told that it's private property and you can't be here, yeah. you know, so we kind of have a problem with that. Well, I hear you. You know, and I think I don't know if this this type of auditing store, this this transparency stuff is it's more commonplace now and it's not so much maybe in the past. Right. right. So now that it's more, more open. people are like, what's happening? Is it yeah. suspicious? Really what's happening? But like you said, you have the it should have been more suspicious on. back then when it first came out. You know, it should have been more suspicious. Now it should be like, oh, there's Jose again. You know, oh, oh there's Philip. you know. I think it's starting to come around a little bit more, though. Yeah. I mean, it's just happening more and more. So how did you guys figure out who I am by, by face? You guys have my picture back there or what? No, or because I, of the I, videos? I follow you. I watch oh, you. okay, cool. I watch all your videos. Yeah. I mean, because... Shali Mahala, all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Is that the helm? <laughs> I was just watching one of your videos before I came out here. It's funny you're, it's funny you're actually here because... Um, we, you know, we have to brief on First Amendment Honest. Yeah. Not only yourself, but all the other uh, right. auditors. Right, I get it. And... Uh, you know, some of your videos I find interesting, and there's a lot of training to be made from it, and there's other other stuff that's you know that we have to deal with on that. But I was just watching it. I watched the uh, Santa Ana one. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I go. Eventually, he's gonna come here, yeah. And I'm gonna be here, and I get to meet him, and, and lo and behold, you're here. Yeah, right on, so, brother. Um, yeah, no. Hey, we should be able to work together, though, man. It's not that we hate the police. You know, know. we need good cops out there. We need good deputies. We need honest people out there that are gonna be willing to you know, to take it to that level that we as the public are asking as far as like when I call for service and then and then your deputy shows up or officer and then they're like, oh, well, what are you filming out here for? What are you causing a problem? Like, I didn't ask you to question me. I'm asking you to take the report as I give it to you. Right. Write it I've down. I've seen that stuff. You know? I've seen how you've done it. So. Detective Duckworth violated my right. He illegally arrested me. He violated my constitutional right to film in public yep. by threatening to arrest me. If he saw my video anywhere posted, I explained what I was doing. He arrested me. He lost my paperwork in here. They messed with me for 14 hours, said I'd find out in two hours. They said they lost my paperwork, that the fingerprint machine was broken, or people went to sleep. They never gave me a phone call until I asked at 3 a.m. These guys fucked with me big time in here. And every time I've come back, they've tried to intimidate me. You, Officer Adrid, have been professional the whole way, but Officer Detective Duckworth, he's dirty. He's a dirty cop, man. Yeah. I told Lloyd that. You guys, you didn't. They stole my SD card because I had them for the dirt they did on me. And they kept me in here 14 hours. And it wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. Okay. Yep. And so I want to pay now. No, no, you don't have, we're going to give this, this is yours. You're a victim. So this is yours. That's your copy. I gave you all the documentation, who you need to contact, so all that I stuff. I understand. I appreciate it. You mentioned it. for him, I've already provided to him already. Right, right. But isn't that done through the department? I don't understand why he has to go through the court. No, no, no. It's through the department. Oh, I gave okay. him the information. Oh, right. You okay. gave me the d information, but when I came in here, his, uh, his, his name, he was the watch commander on duty. It's deputy. It would be a lieutenant or a sergeant. So, well, it was. You, you've got to have some name close to Berman. It, does, it doesn't ring a bell. Okay. What sergeants do you have? How about that? Uh, we have Cervantes, Adrid, uh, Yamasaki, uh, Apostle, 
uh, Sedano. Maybe it was the watch deputy then on duty that day. Then that would be a deputy. Okay. Is there a Berman? No. Something close? I'd have to look at the... There's okay. Like well, I'm telling you, that's the name I remember. If I'm misspoken on the name, it's close. Okay. But I've come in here twice. When I came in here the first time, I asked for the FOIA information. He says, you got to do that on court. No. He he already told, provided you the I know, for that. but what I'm saying is he could have been cordial and told me that. Why did you have to come out? Because he didn't want to deal with me. When you guys released me from jail, I came out here because the jailer said she was going to give me Detective Duckworth's uh, name. I didn't recall it. So when I came out, I forgot it, and I came up right from here, and I said, hello, is anybody here? Just in this tone, he came out, that same deputy. Why are you disrupting us? We're on a phone. Just talk to me like I'm a bitch. It was yep. very, and I've been in here since, and he just, he has it out for me. And I told, I, you know, I shouldn't feel, my wife is afraid of you guys. I don't appreciate who's ever coming by my house and putting on their, their horns. boop, boop. And driving away, just like, like trying to right tell now. me, hey Phil, you set, stepped into some big pig shit here, boy. Stay away. And I don't appreciate it. You know, I, we need. You know, there's good and bad in every field. But what you guys did, did to me was totally wrong. When I say you guys, you weren't there. But what you guys did was guys totally wrong. Each other. When uh, Bustamante, I think is whoever what, took me in the car, said he's going to give me back my camera. He was going to give me my, back my SD card, everything. And uh, then when I got to the jail, he says, we're going to keep it because when you were in the car, the video was on. And because I told you what the charges are, that becomes evident. So we're keeping your camera. I told him, shame on him. He's a liar. So the whole time, dude, listen, I'm a good person. You know, I'm not, I'm not a gangster. I've never been arrested. I was filming an incident. And uh, yeah, Lieutenant is... White got butt hurt. He sent down the guy to... Uh, to fuck with me, and that's what he did. He, you know, he got my goat. You don't come out and say you're trying to get me killed. You're trying to get me killed. You don't try to get me killed. He's baiting me to say, yeah, I'm not stupid. I'm not trying to get you killed. I'm, I'm on neighborhood watch. Okay, Lieutenant White's the liaison. I had no idea who it was. I'm just documenting the story. I, I had a cordial conversation with three other cops before that, and he just didn't like me filming because he didn't want that information out. And he sent Duckworth down, and Duckworth fucked with me, and they fucked with me the whole time, yeah. And now they did the investigation and found out, yeah, wasn't right. So, you know, all I can do is go forward with what I got to do, man. I provided you that information for the... the nice talking to you, man. All right, sir. Have a good one. Yeah, hey, I just want you to know there's a lot of... I mean, you guys think that we're all criminals behind cameras in revenge and stuff like that. But it's not even about that, man. It's because we have a heart for the public. Because people like, like Phil, you know, you guys jailed them and kept them for 14 hours, and he doesn't even deserve that, man. He has they, a family. They sent a bond you know, in two hours. They lost my paperwork. They lost my fingerprints. I mean, come on, man. you know. I mean, Duckworth came in, smiled at me. You know, they just they 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 didn't like me saying "fuck you, bitch" to Duckworth. Yep, you know, he got my vote, speech. and I swore to him. But it's legal to swear at a cop. It's not like he's coming up and saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's not who I am. It's Look, not like I he said, no fuck you, I'm going to kick your ass, you know? I, I got no hatred towards the cops, man. I, well, I understand. I understand. And I'm, hopefully this gets resolved. Uh, I, thank you. I hope it does, too. Thanks. Hey, man, I, I would hope we can try to bridge the gap between, you know, the that's community and, and the police, man. And, and, that. and we're that. willing to come in and talk to your deputies if that's what it takes, you know, just to show, share our, you know, our situation and what we go through and how we see it, you know, because you guys see us as... You know, uh, they're trying to interrogate, uh, intimidate us and, and antagonize and, and, you know, cause problems. No, I get it. But I get it. I'd be happy you, you see my videos, man. No, I know. I'm respectful I'm until somebody comes up. Yeah, you when somebody comes me? up and does something, no. then yeah, I let I mean, them have it. I know him. I got a different stuff. I don't know your name, but I know. Uh, you don't know me. <laughs> no. I don't know you, but I, I, you guys sometimes are together. Yeah. You guys take team. And that was my jailer when I asked, can I make a call? Oh, I didn't get a call. He never offered me a phone call. Until I asked at 3 a.m. Name me badge number, sir. It, 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 it was wrong. Name me badge number, sir. It, it was wrong. Look at that. Well, maybe he can get a first. I know you can't. <laughs> you know, you're, 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 you're a coward. Together, that's what we deal with. But yep. it wasn't right, man. It Hello, just wasn't Mexico. right. You're in New Mexico. Oh, I can get I some resolution. Will. Man, I, I want to see you on the streets anyway. Hey, okay, man. Have a heart, man. Help him out, dude, as much as you can. I know you can't cross the line, but hey, you know, this guy was falsely arrested. I think you can tell from my demeanor. I mean, I'm not... Yeah, I, I guess I wasn't there. I, I, I don't I know, know. You I don't have a dog in the fight in a sense. I, I just got to hear in the story. I know 
they're doing what they're doing on the side. So I know you're speaking with Commander Woolock about some stuff. So yeah, I'm just kind of the neutral party here. Just got to listen, really. I, I know. Well, I, I, I drift. A drift. A drift. All right. Well, appreciate Thank you, sir. It. All right, gentlemen. Anything else you need to do? That's good. Uh, we need that guy's uh, name. His last name is Franklin. Because he's smirking at us through the window. So, you know. His last name is Deputy Franco. See, and that's Deputy that's Franco. That's we need that badge it's number. Like, right there. I see you. It, like badge it's number. It's right there. Uh, we just need his badge number if you can. Thank you. Five five two one zero four. Can you write it down for me, please? Yeah. Five five two one zero four. I do. I appreciate you being cordial and uh, respectful, especially under pressure, man. <laughs> I mean, you may, you may think we're here just fucking with you, but it doesn't, no, mean, no. It doesn't mean a lot. Sergeant Mad Madrid are... was the only guy out of everybody that really uh, uh, treated me. I know he can only say so many there things, you go, sir. He, he was more to me. Appreciate it. He was. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Get you safe out there. Thank you. Yeah, man. Did sure. you get the badge, his badge number? I, oh, here it is. Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate sure. it. Thank you. All right. All right. Have a good one. See you.